The average doctor spends more than a decade in school, and during that time learns about hundreds or probably even thousands of different drugs. And with new prescriptions entering the marketplace each year, it can be difficult to keep up. One solution could be the medical letter. Danielle Elias got a first read. We're here in New Rochelle, New York, home of The Medical Letter, widely recognized as the preeminent publication providing unbiased analysis on most every new prescription drug on the market. With more than 40 years of experience at The Medical Letter, Editor-in-Chief Dr. Mark Abramowitz says it's the publication's standard of excellence that pushes his staff to create an invaluable part of the medical industry. The thing that's unusual about The Medical Letter is that it has absolutely no connection with the pharmaceutical industry. Uh, we're not only a nonprofit organization, but we don't take gifts, grants, or donations. I think the integrity of the people who work here and their passion for what they do is incredibly uplifting. Increasingly, there is an abundance of information around new drugs, medications, and care standards guidelines. And it's very difficult to know uh, within that abundance of information what is true, what is accurate, where it came from. And I think the strength of the medical letter is we have a consistent format and a consensus generating process to create our content, to write our articles. We are so fortunate here to have a long list of experts in every field, um, the biggest names in the business. And I mean, that's the medical, medical letters reputation that um, enables us to do that. Oh, it's it's really important. Important. Does it, is it an extended spectrum beta lactamase? The articles, many of which are first written by PharmDs, are sent to a group of expert advisors, specialists in the field who comb through every word. The articles are also sent to the FDA, to drug companies, the first authors of the studies, and many times to the CDC for review. The staff then incorporates their comments and feedback to publish an unbiased bi-weekly review. The greatness of the medical letter is that it's relatively short, it's concise, and it's easy to read. A format appealing to Dr. Donald Miller for more than two decades. He says he reads the medical letter the minute it hits his desk. Well, the greatest benefit, I think, for us in private practice is it has a cost analysis component. Almost every issue, if not every issue, discusses the cost of every medication. So I think patient compliance and taking medications is of vital importance. And if patients are not compliant, you're not doing anybody any good. If they can't afford the medications, they're simply not going to take it. You know, for us and for my group, when something interesting is presented in the medical letter, we will invariably talk about it amongst ourselves. So I think in the group format, it's invaluable. Beginning back in 1959, the medical letter has evolved over the years, from being printed on hardbound books to now appearing on websites and mobile apps. And because of this, there's been an increase in speed in how readers receive their content. It also lets us give more content to our subscribers because we're not limited by four pages or six pages. We can print four to six pages and give additional content online. We are the only ones who give unbiased information that is clean and timely. Physicians like Dr. Barry Goldstein use the publication as a must-read resource not only for themselves, but also for their patients who expect top-notch care. If someone comes in with a urinary tract infection, if I don't remember how often to use Bactrim, whether to use it for five days or seven days, it's right there. It makes life very simple for me. I think the medical letter benefits any doctor who deals with patients. From doctors to pharmacists and many more in the healthcare profession, hundreds of thousands of people rely on the medical letter for its unbiased and trusted content, keeping readers coming back for more. In New Rochelle, I'm Danielle Elias.